Maddie's Fridge is written by Lois Brandt and was illustrated by Vin Vogel. And I'm going to be reading the book to you today with permission from Flashlight Press, they're the publisher. So Maddie's Fridge is a book about friendship, it's about empathy and helping others and um, I guess helping our friends when they might need some extra help. When Sophia and Maddie played at the park, they stretched their toes to the sky. They climbed to the top of the ladder and flew off the end of the slide. They stayed until the buildings grew long shadows and even the taxis stopped honking. A little, a little bit of a shadow there. Let's play on the climbing wall, Maddie said. No way, Sophia said. I can't reach. Yes way, Maddie scooted to the top of the wall. Your turn. Sophia put a foot on the bottom rock. She grabbed with one hand and she stretched, but she couldn't reach to the next hole. Sophia's stomach growled. Ugh, I give up. Let's go get a snack. No way, Maddie said. Let's stay here. Yes way, Sophia ran to Maddie's building. They raced to the stairs. Wait. Maddie ran after her. Maddie was the best climber, but Sophia was the fastest runner. Sophia swung to the door of Maddie's, swung open the door of Maddie's fridge. What have you got? Um, we have milk, Maddie said. I'm saving it for Ryan. He's still little. Why doesn't your mom go to the store? Sophia asked. We don't have enough money, but what if you get hungry? Well, we have some bread, Maddie said. I guess I'll go home to eat, Sophia said. Please don't tell anyone, Maddie said. Okay, promise? I promise. Sophia ran past the bookstore and the grocery store. The sun went down behind the buildings and took all of the colors with it. It's a gorgeous page. Oh, you can't see the page. Good timing, Mom said. Dinner's almost ready. Louis was wrestling on the floor with Popito. Sophia opened the refrigerator door. Popito peeked inside. Sophia's fridge was full of milk and eggs, and tortillas, and cheese, and lettuce, and jam, and salsa, and tofu, and even a half a can of dog food. Here you go, Mom said. Sophia and Louis each had a plate of fish and rice. Mom had a place of plate of fish and rice. Even Popito had a bowl full of dog food with a little bit of fish and rice. Maddie and Ryan only had some bread and a small carton of milk. Sophia couldn't tell mom. She had to keep her promise to Maddie. Ugh, oh, not fish again, Lois said. I want cheesy pizza bombs. Cheesy pizza bombs are a treat, mom said. Fish is a good source of protein. Is fish good for kids? Sophia asked. Yes, mom smiled. Fish is perfect for kids. That night, Sophia had an idea. So if you take a look right here, Sophia's putting the fish in her backpack. How do we think that's going to turn out? Oh, Maddie said the next day. Oh, Sophia said, double yuck. Fish may be good for kids, but fish is not good for backpacks. After school, Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia got there first, but Maddie scrambled past her to the top of the wall. Sophia stretched and stretched. Keep trying, Maddie said. You'll get it. I can't. Sophia jumped down. It's just too high. That night, Sophia, Louis, and Mom ate frittata. Pepito had his dog food with a little bit of frittata. Maddie and Ryan still had an empty refrigerator. Sophia couldn't ask for help. That would break her promise. 
She had to try again. Are eggs good for kids? Sophia asked. Not as good as cheesy pizza bombs, Lewis said. Cheesy pizza bombs are a treat, Mom said. Mm -hmm. Eggs are good for you. After dinner, Sophia packed up some eggs for Maddie and Ryan. Again, you can see she's putting them in her backpack. Yuck, Maddie said. Double yuck, Sophia said. Eggs may be good for kids, but eggs are not good for backpacks. Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia won again, but Maddie shot right up past her to the top of the wall. Sophia grabbed one hold, reached for the next, and then came tumbling down with a thump. That happens sometimes, Maddie called. This is impossible, Sophia said. Keep trying, Maddie said. You'll get it. I love how she's encouraging her friends. That night, Sophia, Lewis, and Mom had burritos. Pepito had his dog food with a little bit of burrito, but no salsa. Maddie and Ryan still had an empty fridge. Sophia wished she, had prom wished she hadn't promised Maddie. Are burritos good for kids? Sophia asked. Burritos are very good for you, Mom said. But not as good as Lois started to say. You should pay attention to nutrition like your sister, Mom said. The next morning, Sophia put two burritos in her backpack, along with tortillas and beans, cheese, and even some milk. Um, no thanks, Maddie said the next day. You haven't even looked, Sophia said. Is it fish? Maddie asked. No. Is it eggs? No. Is it gross? I don't know, Sophia said. Maddie shook the backpack. Something sloshed. Let's look together, Maddie said. One, two, three, go. Burritos are good for kids and good for backpacks too. Do you want some milk, Sophia asked. Thanks, Maddie said, but I'm gonna save the milk for Ryan. Sophia and Maddie raced to the climbing wall. Sophia won, as usual, and tried to climb. You can do it, Maddie said. Take my hand. Woohoo! I made it to the top, Sophia shouted. We're the tallest kids in the park, Maddie said. Thanks for helping me, Maddie. I couldn't have done it alone. Maddie shrugged. That's what friends are for. After they finished playing, Sophia walked home past the bookstore and the grocery store. Her own fridge was full of milk and juice and chicken and yogurt and bread and carrots and even a half a can of dog food. She thought and thought and thought. Maddie's fridge only had two tortillas, a cup of beans, a little bit of cheese, and a little bit more milk than before. Sophia didn't want to make her promise, didn't want to break her promise, but she couldn't help Maddie alone, Sophia told. She hoped Maddie wouldn't be mad. I'm glad you told me, Mom said. Let's see what we can do together. They loaded grocery bags full of milk and flour, chicken, carrots, sugar, oil, and even frozen meat and vegetables. Lewis pulled his package of cheesy pizza bombs out of the freezer. He thought and thought and he thought some more. And then he put his cheesy pizza bombs in Maddie and Ryan's bag for a treat, he said. At Maddie's apartment, the moms talked. Lois and Ryan played. Sophia and Maddie ran to the park. You broke your promise, Maddie said. I'm sorry, Sophia said. Are you mad at me? A promise is important, Maddie said. You're more important, Sophia said. I wanted you to have some milk too. Maddie smiled. Are we still friends, Sophia asked. Always, Maddie said. Double always, said Sophia. Cheesy pizza bombs, Lewis yelled. Our moms made cheesy pizza bombs for a treat. Sophia and Maddie raced up the stairs. Sophia slowed down. 
so they could run together because that's what friends are for. The end. So I hope you guys enjoyed the book. I want you to think about a couple of things. Maybe you can talk it over with a grown up at home. But think about the friendship between Maddie and Sophia. How maybe you could compare it to a friendship that you have with a special friend. And also think about how they helped each other. It's kind of obvious how Sophia helped Maddie with the food. But how did Maddie help Sophia? I want you to think about that. And also, when Maddie asked, Sophia not to tell. Why do you think she felt that way? Why didn't she want anyone to know that her fridge was empty? Something else for you to talk to uh, growing up about. And also I made myself a couple notes here so I'm just looking. Um, the promise. So this is a tricky one. Sophia made a promise to Maddie that she would not break her promise. But in the end she ended up that she told her mom. And how do you feel about that? I personally think it was probably a good idea because sometimes when we have friends that may be in trouble or need some extra help, something, a situation like that, that was a good thing that she, that she told. And also talk about how we as a community can come together and how we can help each other. We don't always know who that person is that may have an empty fridge. It could be someone who's sitting in class next to us back a couple of months ago when we were all in class together. It could also be our neighbor. It could be a very dear friend and we just don't know. So talk about some things that we can do as a community, come together as families and maybe uh, make donations to local food pantries and to uh, different shelters, things like that. So be sure to like our Facebook page and if you want to go to our website and sign up for the mailing list. We will keep you posted on future communications and events and activities and things that we have coming up and perhaps another story time or two. We may have that coming up as well. But um, again, I want to thank you all for joining us and it was really great to have you here and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.